Dr. LaSalle LaFall, an icon in the Howard University and broader medical community, is being remembered this Memorial Day. The prominent oncologist and educator died over the weekend just days after he turned 89. Dr. LaFall was born in Tallahassee, Florida, graduated high school at 15 years old and college at 18. He was the first African American to serve as national president of the American Cancer Society. He received numerous teaching honors at Howard University and held visiting professorships at more than 200 institutions across the globe. Our former colleague, Andrea Rohn, interviewed Dr. LaFall several years ago. You get up early in the morning, you're full of energy, you want to get things accomplished, and you just want to do things. While most of us are fast asleep, legendary cancer surgeon Dr. LaSalle LaFall Jr. gets a lot of things accomplished before the sun rises. Most days, around 4.30 in the morning, you'll find him making rounds at Howard University Hospital. If you don't have your health, I don't care what it is you want to do, you cannot do it and enjoy it. But with your health, with good health, you can, and I want to help people maintain their health and regain their health. Howard's been his professional home since he entered medical school at age 18 in 1948. His teachers included medical pioneers Dr. Charles Drew, Dr. Burke Syfax, and Dr. Jack White. Had it not been for the Howard University College of Medicine, there's a great possibility that I would not be a physician today, a surgical oncologist today. He broke through racial barriers to become one of America's top doctors. He retired from performing surgery four years ago, but continues to serve on the medical school's faculty as the Charles Drew Professor of Surgery. And what's the role of the teacher? It's to instruct, to inspire, to stimulate, to stretch the imagination, and to expand the aspirations of others. He has done that for nearly 5,000 medical students and hundreds of America's black surgeons. Outside the classroom, he used his high-profile positions as president of the American Cancer Society and the American College of Surgeons to draw national attention to the disturbing disparities between blacks and whites in cancer prevalence, treatment, and mortality. We have to do a better job and let people know that this is something that is important, that something can be done to make a difference. For keeping us focused on the work that remains in finding the cure, the Komen Foundation is paying tribute to its former board chair at its first Kennedy Center honoring the Promise Gala. I am deeply honored and, and most appreciative for this recognition. And it just makes me want to do even more. I don't know what more I can do, but whatever that is, I want to do it. In a letter to the Howard University community, school president Wayne Frederick wrote Dr. LaFall was a true son of Howard and a loyal exemplar of the university's motto, truth and service. He leaves behind a legacy of service and benevolence to the university as a longstanding donor who created opportunities for subsequent generations of students through his generosity. Dr. LaSalle LaFall is survived by his wife, Ruth, and his son, Donnie.